welcome back to be unique as you can see um you see more of my apartment i'm just trying to get uh, a feel of the new lighting that i have and i included like two soft boxes and of course i already have my ring light they're all from the same company so and they're all the same light so hopefully um it draws out all the freaking darkness and shadow <laughs> that usually is around my face when I do tutorials. But today this video is going to be um, just a little bit different for me to see what the video quality looks like. And also uh, just to give you a spiel, a lot of you guys have been asking about my hair and why I cut it and whatnot. So this video is mainly going to be about the who, what, when, where, why kind of video about my hair. And so... Stay tuned. So if you like what you see on my face, I may recreate it. But I did this specifically for um, the video quality, like I said, and how the light picks up color and everything like that. So, so one thing that I know, I do need an extension cord because the way my apartment is set up, it's just, it's not going to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you like the lighting. Um, sorry that you see so much crap in my apartment, but just focus on the subject, which is myself, and we'll get going. I wanted to cut my hair because my hair was previously lightened and colored, so I lightened it to the point that I lightened it safely, but just with color in general, you need to keep up with it. And what I mean by that, you need to <laughs> either keep up with the color and treat your hair often, um, at least once or twice a month, depending on the treatment itself. And I really wasn't doing that. So I really like the color. I have purple in my hair. I'm going to insert it in the video so you can see what I'm talking about. And the purple was pretty much all over my hair. And I didn't lighten it one time, I lightened it twice in two different um, times. So just to get the actual color that I wanted. So at the time, um, which is a beautiful color, but the, if you know anything about color, the brighter the color it is. Like for example, I have purple, like cool tone. So it tends to fade quicker, number one. Number two, it gets dull on you very fast. <laughs> And um, I'm not the type of person to retouch color every few weeks because I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my hair. So for, me, for even to do that color, for me even to do that color was really a, um, um, just something that I wanted to do at the time. If you know anything about hair, the only way you can get that health back is to cut it off. My hair wasn't curling the way I want it to curl because it does alter your curls and some to some extent and I knew that so <laughs> I was fine with cutting my hair I wasn't crying or anything like that my mom was the one that cut my hair she has done my hair since I was a kid so I was like why don't you just cut it <laughs> she's cut my hair before and trimmed it so I'm not you know I wasn't worried about how it was gonna look so um I, she cut it into a wedge cut. It's still in a wedge form. Dip it down a little bit. It's still in a wedge form. I don't know if you can see that, but it is growing out. I cut it in May, and my hair grows pretty fast. <laughs> um, so yeah, and to get rid of the color, because I still had some like purple, I guess residue. Not exactly purple, purple in my hair when I cut it. Um, so just to get rid of that dullness I just had I just did a rinse or a permanent color of brown like a really nice dark brown that matches my hair color um just to that's easy to refresh it's just an all-over color I cut into a wedge cut I was totally obsessed with it um I'm still obsessed with it I think it's such a beautiful cut I cut my hair May 2015 um it was literally like right after I colored my hair. I let it, I let it be for a couple of months, maybe like I want to say four months, and then I cut it. And so <laughs> I'm, I could be sporadic in certain things that I do. 
I'm not going to show any products because the majority of these products um, everybody kind of knows. And I do have a video, so I'll link it down in the blah, blah, blah. I'll link it down in the description box, and so you can go ahead and check it out yourself. The products I mainly use is all Win products um, when it comes to shampoo and conditioner. Now I do, I did run out, so um, I need to go pick more up. So in the meantime, I've been using um, the Tea Tree Lavender from Paul Mitchell. Um, I work and go to school at Paul Mitchell, so. Um, I'm in the process of testing products out simply because I go to school there and that's what we do. <laughs> and I love it so far. It smells so good. I thought that the aroma of the tea tree lavender would be too much for me. I actually really, really love it. And the lavender really soothes the body and soothes your, your hair. So um, I really, if I'm doing like my hair at night, I, I like to use that instead of um, like a regular shampoo and conditioner if it's not one. I use the one styling cream to style my hair along with it just depends on what I'm doing if I want the twist out to last a long time um, I also would use the styling cream with uh, the eco styling gel and with the argan oil um, I also use the the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Cream Wax. <laughs> it's a yellow container. I use that with the, the Eco Styling Gel. Twist my hair up and it gives good definition and it lasts a long good time. I really don't care for definition. I like some definition but I like when it when it starts growing out and you really can't <laughs> it's, there's no real like definition I love that like this is about the time for me to retwist it again um but yeah it will last all the way for me to wash my hair again so that's what I do I use coconut oil um whenever I'm doing a treatment or I'll add that into the styling products that I use so yeah that's really really good for you I just mentioned it I do twist outs I'm not a big fan of, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say a big fan, I just, I'm very, very, very low maintenance. That's the best way my hair grows, or it grows faster, or at, at the pace that it's supposed to grow. Um, I just do a twi do twist, unravel it, and I go. That's pretty much it. Maybe flip it in different styles. When I, like, similar to, like, how I had longer hair, I may pull it back in a, in a puff, well I can't do it now, but I'll put it back in a puff or I'll lean the twist or the twist out on one side. Um, so right now all I can basically do is a twist out and wear headbands, wear pretty bows and all that crap. I live in Miami so we have a loads and loads and loads of humidity so my hair pretty much stays moist and never, it's never really that dry. When I notice it gets like severely dry, then I wash it. So I wash my hair about every one to two weeks and it could be a little bit sooner depending on how dirty my hair is. So if I have a lot of styling products and my hair is really weighing down with products, I will wash it earlier than one to two weeks. If I'm doing a treatment, it's once a month. If I have braids, like um, you know, fake braids and fake twists and stuff like that in my hair. I wear it for at least a month to a month and a half. So I wash it, like literally, <laughs> right after. And then treatments every month. I do treat my hair with coconut oil. Um, coconut oil is a very good stimulant for your blood. It stimulates the hair growth in your, in your scalp. So that's really good if you didn't know that. So... Along amongst other things, coconut oil is super, super, super amazing. And if you haven't checked out an, the article that I've written for coconut oil, you should definitely try check it out and try it for yourself. Um, it's a lot of do-it-yourself kind of thing, um, mainly for your body and your hair and everything else. But you have to check it out, okay? That's it. If you have any more questions about my cut or... 
just want to go into detail on what on whatever it is that you want me to go into t detail about you're more than welcome to ask me in the comment section below um, I'm gonna start doing a little bit more um, hair tutorials I guess not tutorials but just hair talks or tutorials um, as my hair grows out um, I like to do a lot of braids and a lot of twists in my hair so um, if you would like to see how to do it or what I do just keep watching all right till next time I hope you like this video peace